<laughs> Alright, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, this is just a, a quick um, update with uh, the books I've been working on. Uh, to remind you, uh, I decided to set a goal for 2020 to do a publish a book a day for Amazon for the month or the year 2020. And uh, so far, six days, six books. Doing well. Uh, the uh, yesterday's book was the facts surrounding the assassination of Joseph Smith Jr. and I include the pictures which are the facts. <coughs> uh, I don't draw the conclusion that Brigham Young ordered the murder, placing John Taylor and Willard Richards in there. I just point out the facts. And so you'll you'll see uh, that uh, uh, the most damning of the facts against the church, uh, having it be an inside job, is that uh, the bullet hole through the door is supposed to have been the one that tagged. Uh, we'll get the right here is where Hiram Smith got tagged, <coughs> and. Uh, uh, Clearly, the bullet hole is way too low. No rider. And, uh, uh, yeah, something else happened then if the facts show that that's not the case. That that bullet, or that ball, could not have been the one to tag Hiram in the face. Uh, and so that's that book that I did yesterday. Uh, but, uh, I'll try to remember to put the picture of it in the front of this video, um, but I really wanted to talk about porn. <laughs> that one's doing very well. I did a book, uh, I can't remember which day, uh, it may have been day three, uh, where I did Mormon Temple Porn. And uh, Mormons understand that uh, you have to wear specific wedding dresses in the temple. There are restrictions uh, that ban a woman's dress when they present themselves at the temple the day of their wedding. Uh, and uh, yeah, they have the, the workers who inspect the dress and, and make sure it's appropriate. And so I made a book. Uh, explaining briefly in the introduction of the Mormon's paranoia and where it comes from and why it is. Uh, and it's basically the underwear that Brigham Young created. And, uh, and then it showed for the rest of the book uh, examples of inappropriate temple dresses <laughs> for weddings. And uh, beautiful dresses lovely. My favorite was put on the cover. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so, yeah, it, it's doing really well off the gate. Uh, typically when you start with Amazon, uh, people don't uh, get recommended to your books. You have to build up a reputation by advertising and, and uh, promotions not just on Amazon but elsewhere to get people to come into uh, Amazon to see what you got uh, and so it takes some time to build up and uh, when I started in May of 2015 it took until that Christmas uh, for me to get going to start building up to uh, $35 a month on a regular basis in royalties uh, and that was because I, uh, I got married uh, on October 1st in the Mormon temple <laughs> my wife's dress was appropriate <laughs> but uh, at our reception uh, one of the, the friends who uh, had found out about it 
from my Facebook page that I had at the time before I took it down and then found out that Russia had been buying our my data through Facebook. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg, for betraying America. Uh, and uh, uh, he, her, her husband uh, uh, has, works for Amazon. And he was talking about how anybody can produce a 24-page book and do it with pictures, you know, spots on the wall, and get published, and people will buy it. <coughs> and he was sort of mocking it, but uh, I went, really? It's free? Uh, and so uh, I already paid $2,000 for my first book. So uh, I could have done that for free, and uh, sure enough, I uh, checked out Amazon and uh, did a massive upload of my books that had been waiting, that got preserved uh, with the the um, trash dumping of my property by my dad. I survived that, and uh, uh, yeah, I been publishing ever since. Uh, this year my royalties dropped over three hundred dollars. <laughs> so uh, I figured it was because I stopped advertising on Amazon because they were actually taking money out of my account. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Um, but uh, uh, <clears throat> so I stopped that, and uh, I'd not been publishing uh, for over a year, sort of on sabbatical, doing research and stuff, uh, and turns out that uh, that's exactly what I needed to do, was get back into publishing on a regular, consistent basis, and sure enough, uh, people are, are being reminded of my name, uh, as I've, uh, as I publish, the analytical program that Amazon uses results in, in my books, my name, getting bumped up on the list of recommendations when you type in something. If you've been to Amazon, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's kind of weird because you'll type in something you're looking for, and you'll even type in the exact name of the product. And instead, they'll recommend other products that have nothing to do with what you're looking for. That's like psycho, but that's the way they have their analytical programs. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the uh, Ancient Decipherment book that I did also is, uh, is also popular. Uh, it's catching on immediately, as well as the Mormon Temple Porn. But Mormon temple porn is getting a lot of people who are looky-loos. <laughs> They're actually thinking, is there porn? <laughs> no, you pervs. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, there's lots of views. <laughs> and there's a, a few sales already. But uh, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> and that was the print publication that uh, the Mormon gave me grief over uh, because I selected Bleed because it's a PDF for the print and uh, the pictures uh, need to be big enough to cover as much of the page as I can. And so, yes, there's going to be some bleed over the lines, and that's why I selected bleed. And uh, the Amazon guy comes back and says, oh, you went over the lines. <laughs> <laughs> and so they purposely delayed the, the uh, publishing of my print version. But Kindle, everything's done quick. So uh, I'm not, not concerned about making money. Uh, the key to success is making your prices as low as possible, especially when you're doing the volumes that I'm doing. 
and the volumes that I'm doing are necessary with this analytical programming that's going around with everybody. So uh, that's the secret to success, publishing online, if uh, anybody wants to know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm already going on too long here. I just intended this to be a quick little update. So uh, today I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I've got a whole long list of stuff to do, but it'll have to be a quick book as well. Like I said, for the first six months of the year, will be QuickBooks. And then at the last half, I can combine those QuickBooks together <coughs> into uh, different types of books, depending on the content. So, there we go.